What's up guys? So you know what people always ask, what is there to do in Angeles City? You know, besides, you know, coming here and hanging out in the red light district and and uh, participating in those in those extracurricular activities, what else is there to hear? What else is there to do in Angeles City? You know what? I'm going to show you today what else there is to do here in Angeles City. All right, so what is there to do? I'm going to show you right now. I Welcome to Mountain Clark Firing Range. They have a firing range here. This is in Angeles City. This is more in what, Mountain View area? But, Mountain View. but they have a firing range here. And this is things that they have. They have uh, gun handling, archery. But I was told the archery range is being worked on right now. Shooting, uh, shukrin throwing. I have no clue what that is. Uh, firearm licensing, permit processing, weapon repair and conditioning. Uh, gear rental, pistols, rifle, and archery, team building. But here it is, guys. This is it. As you come in, you got the guard on the left. All right, cool, yeah. You got the guard on the left-hand side. Um, these buildings here I have no clue. I would imagine people live there. I don't know. Um, I do know there's always a lot of PNP that come down here to qualify. A lot of... <coughs> excuse me a lot of law enforcement comes down here now this is the only one that i know of in the area is there some down in manila i don't know in porak what says there's one in porak but here's you know to come down here for the day um we're gonna go in we're gonna get your prices we're gonna show what they have to offer um i do know like hotels and stuff they set up with the people that are visiting and staying here. Uh, they set up trips down here to the firing range, day trips. Um, but yeah, I mean, here it is. If you're into, into shooting firearms and stuff, here it is, guys. Jet Force responders. I have no clue why the ambulance is here. That's not a good sign now, right? <laughs> nah, just kidding. A lot of people come here. Jet Force is... Uh... Jet Force is security. security yeah, Jet Force is security agent. So, anyways, we're gonna take a little trip in here, and I'm gonna show you around and show you more what's what they offer and what they have. I know it's gonna be loud because the firing range is just to our left, but here are the um, rules and regulations. I'm not gonna read them. You guys maybe can see them. Well, I'll read them. Kindly present your firearm license and other permits before shooting. Register your name and other details in a logbook at the. Shooters are required to sign a waiver form before shooting. Eyes and ear protection must be worn at all times. Minors will not be allowed to shoot without a parent or guardian present. Keep your cell phones and other valuables. Uh, the management is not responsible for any loss or damage. Uh, intoxicating beverages and substance are not allowed inside the range premises. Please do not hesitate to call the attention of our range officers and staff for assistance. Firearms should be clear from ammunition until you're ready to shoot. For your safety and convenience, the management has the right to refuse customers who are unable who are unable to abide by the above mentioned rules and regulations and with unfit physical and mental status. Here's the thing, guys. <clears throat> I was told that you can bring children, not, not, not babies or anything like that. Let me kind of step away here. Um, I was told you can bring, you know, even your kids here. As long as you're accompanying them as a parent, you can bring your kids here and you can use the firing range. Uh, there is no age limit. Of course, you're not going to bring a child here, like a baby. Um, but anyways, those are their rules. There's are regulations. And uh, right here as you come in, I'll show you where you come in. As you come in, there's the parking area out there. Plenty of parking. There's always plenty of parking here uh, as you come in. Here is where you register, um, pay your fees, uh, let them know what kind of ammunition and what kind of weapons you want to fire. Um, it's right here as you come in, right to the right. Uh, let me see what else. Here's the waiting area. They got a waiting area here. Uh, I think what they do is they give you a number. You wait for your instructor to come and... Uh, your instructor will take you then to the firing range. Well, anyways, let me show you what what kind of weapons and the prices of what they have here. 
All right, here's what they have. Uh, an M49, nine millimeter, and the price for rental is 1,200 pesos. That's like 24, $24. Turn the page. Everything's right here, right as you come in at the uh, desk where you sign in. Uh, they have an M16 rifle. Uh, that is 1,700 pesos. That is two. That is 34 U.S. dollars. We're going to go on to 50, 50 pesos to one U.S. dollar. 12 gauge shotgun. 1,700. In other words, 34 U.S. dollars. Uh, nine millimeter. Is that a Glock? Yeah. That's 1,200 pesos. That's 24 dollars. 45 caliber. 1,200 pesos. That's another 24 dollars. And they have a. What's this? A 45. That's 600 pesos. You're looking at $12 to rent that. Another 9 millimeter, 600 pesos to rent that. And they got, what is this? Glock. A Glock. K-Pos. K-Pos. G2. Kit. 1,700. So you're looking at another $34 to rent that. Now that's that's your rental cost. Then you gotta pay for your ammunition. There's your ammunition cost right there. I'm not gonna, you guys can see it, what the ammunition cost is, and that's per round. Um, so that's what they get for rental. That's your rental cost. Uh, you also need to get a uh, officer and assistant, a range, your range free with range officer and assistance is 400 pesos, $8. Uh, and a target board, if you want a target board, that's 35 pesos, like 70 cents. But there's your prices per round. We'll, uh, we'll come out here. And you can, this is one of the instructors. You can, lights are a little bad here, let me get over here. All right, now we can see you. Um, you can buy as many rounds as you want, correct? Yes, sir. Many as you want. You were saying earlier, you can bring your own weapons yes as long as you have your documents with you the proper documents proper documents uh it's really about it i mean you can so roam around and check i can roam around yeah. okay i'm gonna roam around here like i said they're gonna it's gonna be loud just showing you around here but all the uh all the fire range instructors they're all qualified all certified uh, there's a little snack, snack area here. Here is your waiting area. Like I said, you come in, they give you, hello, um, PNP here. Uh, you got these tables here with letters on them. And you wait there until your fire range instructor comes and gets you, they take you down. I know people have asked, people wanna know, can, here's the gun cleaning area. A non-citizen can an expat or a foreigner own a a uh, firearm here in the Philippines? The answer is no. You cannot own a firearm now. Now, let me, just, let me get over here. Now, if you are married, your wife can own a firearm. I was told what happens is a lot of expats. What they'll do is. Um, they will turn around and they will buy a weapon for their wife or something like that. Hello. <laughs> I'm just reading the sign. <laughs> uh, they can, what they do is they buy weapons and put them in their wife's name. They keep it in the house. Now, what is the law when it comes to a foreigner having to use that weapon, a firearm inside their house for self-protection? I don't know, but I do know a foreigner is not allowed to personally own a firearm. Here's Lut Lutus with me. Uh, let's go. What, uh, well, no, he told me I could roam around, so I'm going to roam around. He told me I could roam around. There's the Jet Force people right there. 
those are the ones that were out. Jet Force is what personal security agency. Uh, yeah, the all these agencies come down to this firing range, qualify. We'll come down here and now do they? I think they provide hearing. They provide hearing. I don't know. I think you get to pay. See them. Oh, you think you have to pay? Fifty pesos. Okay. But here's the firing ranges. Little cardboard targets. I seen they had like plastic bottles and soda bottles and stuff that they'll set up. What's he firing here? Shotgun? Yeah, shotgun. Well, that's what's on the table. You're one of the instructors, right? Yes, sir. But uh, it's not throwing against me. What um, do they provide, or you have to provide your own hearing aid and, and eye protections and stuff? You can buy personal airplane. Okay, you can buy everything, yeah. so it's not provided. We have, but. Uh, you can buy access. Yeah, we have a free, but. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. You want uh, your personal? Personal, okay. So they offer free, yeah, but, but if you want your own personal protection, you can you can get it. We'll go down here. See what Jet Force is doing. I was never a big gun person myself. I actually like bow hunting. I was a bow hunter. What are they shooting? No, I mean, you're going to shoot in the circle that way. Shoot that way? Yeah, but I don't understand why they go to the Oh, you're, you're, uh... It's supposed to be a target yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. And that's like sand and stuff yeah. in the back there. But there it is. Aim for zero accidental firing. All right. He's coming you're firing a fi if you're firing a weapon you have to have your plugs on but everybody standing around don't have your plugs on <laughs> yeah, it's kind of in the air. yeah you can come down here as a group you can come down here as just an individual person you know it's it's up to it's up to what you want When they do what? Get in her let. Yeah. Get in her let. Lit fired back in America. Uh, my ex, well, my my ex son-in-laws. Uh, we were out. No, we were out visiting them, and uh, and uh, he had what? I think a nine millimeter. And uh, that was the first time Lutch shot a firearm, and she liked it. <laughs> it's heavy. Yeah. It's challenging. Challenging, right, Lutch? Yeah, yeah. He's the one who touched me like this. Yeah. All right, guys, so there it is. If you're, like I said, if you're in the area and you're looking for something, you're visiting, you're passing through, whatever, live here, man, come down. 
come down to the firing range. Um, if you're staying here, ask your hotel. Line something up maybe with your hotel uh, that can bring you down here. Everybody knows this firing range. Everybody, you know, if you say the firing range in Mountain View area, everybody knows this firing range. So just something extra, something to do maybe, something to kill a day, kill a day, something to do for a day. Yeah, come down, check it out. If you're into this, what's that? If you're into firing weapons, because I know there's a lot of, let me keep walking. I know there's a lot of people that come from different countries that, uh, I, I, like I know Australia, you know, I know people from Australia that will come here and they'll hang out here at the firing range for a day because they can't fire weapons in Australia. You know what I noticed too here? A lot of Koreans will come here. There's a lot of Koreans that come down here, that come to the firing range and fire weapons down here. A lot of people that don't have the opportunity like we do in the United States to own uh, firearms, to shoot firearms, um, they come here because they can't do it from the country they come from. So anyways, guys, um, just something I put out there, something uh, I figured I'd share with you, something to do here, and uh, I guess until next time.